Vsauce, Michael here. Did you know that the average dairy farming cow produces over 240,000 glasses of milk per year? Think of that on a worldwide spectrum. There's over 300 million dairy farms worldwide, times that by about 2,000 cows on each, making 240,000 glasses per year. That's at least 50 million glasses of milk per year. Now, the thing with milk is there's so many different types of varieties out there. Full cream, light, soy, the list is endless. But here's the thing, daily Americans, daily Australians, daily Canadians, we drink milk every single day. It's just become second nature to us. But here's the one thing we don't think about. Can a normal person distinguish the difference between a full cream expensive milk and a full cream cheap milk? Join us in this, in this experiment and we'll find out why. To begin my experiment, I had to get three different brands of milk. Where better else to go in my local supermarket? I needed three distinguishable brands, each a cheap one, a middle priced, and of course, an expensive one. All milks, full cream. After obtaining three different types of milk, the next thing I had to do was find someone to experiment on. I needed somebody I could properly test this with. I've been tipped off that the best lab rod is just around these streets, and I think I've just found it. Let's ask him if he's down for the experiment. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Right. How are you today? I'm all right. On behalf of Vsauce, we're wondering if you're interested in participating in a milk experiment. Is it paid? Paid, you will get one free bottle of milk, and you better taste different types. Free milk? Free milk. Sure. Free milk. Now that I had my three different types of milk and my lab rat, it was time to put my experiment to the test. Little did my testee know I had a bit of a trick up my sleeve. Whilst the testee believes that each glass will be filled up with the premium to the medium to the small quality of milk, I'll only be putting in the cheap milk. The milk will be placed in three different colored glasses. One green, one blue, and one red. Hopefully, the milk being in three different colored glasses should activate Jack's prefrontal cortex into creating a placebo-like effect, thus making them all taste different. Right this way. Now, in this experiment today, what we're going to be doing, my good friend, see here, three different types of milk, all three different price ranges, textures, all full cream, however, they're all full cream. Now, we're going to put them in different glasses here, mix up the glasses, and we're going to have to get your opinion on which one you find is best. We want you to look for things like taste, texture, creaminess, you have to let us know which the best one is. Now, we're going to have to ask you to leave the room while we fill these glasses, so if you just leave down there, go into our little private quiet room down here. Okay, so here are the three different types of milk. As you can see, there's one is Dairy Choice, one is Pure Original Milk, and one is A2 Full Cream. Now I'm gonna leave the room so I can't hear what you're saying, and I want you to take a sip of each one, indulge in a little bit, and explain the differences between them, and tell them which one is your favorite and for what reason. Which one's the most expensive? The most expensive is the A2 Full Cream Milk. Okay. Okay, good luck with the experiment. It's pretty creamy, but it's got a weird aftertaste. I'm not sure about this one. It's quite nice on the palate. I think that's the most expensive. Huh, that's interesting. He thinks that the middle one is the most expensive. Mmm. Creamy. But not amazing. Do you think it's about time to test now? Alright. Let's go find out what he thinks about the milk. Jack, thank you very much for that. Appreciate you doing that experiment. No worries. Now, what I'd like to do for the first, first half of this experiment is I'd like you to put each milk in front between Dairy Choice, the Pure Original Milk, and the A2 Full Cream. Put that in front of your desired glass, which one you believe is which. Okay. Hmm, interesting. So final decisions? 
That's it. Okay, very good, very good. Can you please explain to me why you believe that the eight, the middle one is the most expensive, this one here is the second most expensive, and this one here is the cheapest? The middle one tasted the creamiest. Mm. Creamy. Tasted the creamiest, did it? Yeah, okay. by far. Like, it had a nice aftertaste. This one was like a little bit less so, and that one had something like weird going on. Did you believe the taste difference has anything to do with the different colors of the glasses, red, green, and blue? Could that have affected your mindset in any way? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, what if I were to tell you that every glass of milk here is in fact the cheap glass of milk? That's pretty cool. Vsauce here. That's the experiment.